So our, our strategy as a company is to stay extremely focused on doing a few things exceptionally well. At the end of the day, if you don't innovate, you don't come up with new ideas, if you have an established franchise, you're not going to bring people back every year. And if you have a new franchise, you're not going to break through. So if you look at our portfolio, we're showing off uh, our latest installment in the Call of Duty franchise, which is unique in that it's our first three-year development for the franchise. It's the first time we've had a new lead developer on a Call of Duty game in a decade. And um, a conic new villain with Kevin Spacey, new facial animation technology that looks near photo real, almost as good as you know what you're seeing in Hollywood movies. So we made a dream list together, and Kevin Spacey was right at the top of it. Next up is Bungie's next, hopefully, you know, huge franchise called Destiny. We called it The Traveler. And its arrival changed us forever. Destiny is an innovative idea that brings together pieces from genres that haven't been mashed up before. It's a, on one hand, it's a first-person action game. On the other hand, it's got the persistent world and the investment in your character that you would find in, a, in an MMORG or an RPG game. So that's a really fresh idea that we hope catches on. We actually think it creates a new genre called the shared world shooter. It is no fun being frozen. And then finally, Skylanders Trap Team. Skylanders is a game that we, a whole intellectual property that we developed a few years back that really disrupted two industries, both the toy industry and the gaming industry by bringing them together uh, with toys that come to life inside a video game. And this is our fourth game in that um, series called Skylanders Trap Team. And this lets kids kind of reach into the game and pull toys out. It's very cool. <laughs> Given the massive success that we've had with Skylanders, I think that competition was inevitable and it was really only a matter of time until other companies who have relevant IP looked at the success of Skylanders and said, hmm, I wonder if we could compete in that area. So Skylanders was actually the anomaly for a brief period. We didn't have competition because we invented the category. So, uh, you know, everywhere we are competing, we're trying to lead with, with innovation. We're seeing a lot of interesting attempts right now to, to you know, uh, break into virtual reality and I think that uh, any new hardware that gets people excited about gaming is usually good for companies like ours. You know, we're a platform agnostic company. Uh, I think they're compelling, you know, when the experience has, has got a lot of promise and at the same time there have been, you know, a lot of attempts to add those kinds of peripherals to whether it's TV screens or movie screens or uh, games in the past and, and it's hard to break through. Uh, so, you know, I think we'll, we'll wait and see.